Hello and welcome to the broadcast. Nothing Beats here with you on this Monday evening and I hope you're having a, a great day uh, regardless of what time zone you are in. I didn't do a damn thing today. Literally nothing. Nada. Zilch. Absolute uh, zero. <laughs> um, I uh, I don't know why. I just I didn't have anything really to do. Um, didn't have any anything major, and um, just didn't feel like going out. It was a really windy, nasty wind advisory day. The forecast uh, kept putting out. Uh, um, dangerous wind conditions and I was just like eh, I don't have anywhere to go and I don't feel like spending any money so let's just stay at home and just watch TV me and the wife are watching the show it's an Australian uh, TV original um, and it's one of the local or it's one of the uh, major channels here and uh, it's a uh, it's a travel show and what it is is they have these different groups of people and they send them to a place, and they all have experiences and everything. It's um, it's 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 borderline reality TV, but it's all trying to you know show everybody uh, some of the things that you can do in some of these uh, locations. Uh, sometimes they're traveling to different parts of Australia, and other times they're traveling to other places all over the world. And uh, it's it's a riot. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of places that I was watching, and I was like, I'd like to go there. Um, and they show like the prices and everything. Of course, the show's been going on for a few years, but uh, every group they have a diverse uh, diverse uh, set of group uh, a set of people. Um, there's one that's a that's a family. It's a mom and dad and a son and a daughter. They're all adults though, so it's not like it's not like really young kids. Uh, then there's the hoity-toity, uh, very well-off. Um, husband and wife who uh, have retired and are enjoying their retirement, never having any children. Uh, they have the young adults uh, who are uh, twin sisters who uh, lived, uh, who basically lived on a farm their entire life. Uh, then they have the, I guess they're college kids, uh, college students. They're just three friends uh, and they, they travel and, and all, none of these groups interact with each other. They just all kind of do their own little thing. And, you know, it's, it's, it's very uh, scripted because they all end up going to some of the same places and we see how different people kind of react in these situations. Like the hoity toity couple, uh, the husband ha always has a stick up his ass over something, but he's not exactly abrasive. A lot of the things that he points out is technically true you know but but because they have all these different groups of people they um they get a variety of reactions like uh the the mother uh the the mother and father son and daughter team they are <laughs> they're the boogan group uh they are a riot they are they're not super trashy but they're kind of low low class and and uh, but they're delightful. They're very funny. If there's some goofy shenanigans to be done, they're the ones who are going to get into it. And then you got the uh, the stick up the ass uh, rich uh, retirees who are very happy uh, sitting down and enjoying a glass of wine and looking at the beautiful scenery. If there's tourists around, they're usually not happy. They went to what they went to this one resort, and I don't remember where. And there were kids everywhere, and that's all he, all the guy was doing was just looking around. It's like there's just kids everywhere, <laughs> but hello, our signs. But he's not wrong, you know. It's like it's he's not just being a pompous ass for no reason. It's just that's the way he is. And the first time I saw him, I was just like, what a pompous jackass. But the more I watched him, I'm, the more I was like, you know, I kind of agree with what he's saying though. It's like he's not saying anything just to be a jerk. It's it's informative. It's just you know. Like, like me and my wife, we don't have any kids, so when we go to a place, if there's a lot of kids running around, we tend to not feel like that's for us. You know what I mean? It's like, if it's, we're not necessarily adult-only entertainment, but we're also, when it's super kid-friendly, it doesn't feel like it's for us. In fact, sometimes I go to places where it's very open and friendly towards kids, I feel kind of creepy. 
You know, being like the only adults in the room that don't have little crotch goblins running around, you know, I, I, I feel a little creepy sometimes. So I just, I feel uncomfortable being in that situation, even though there's absolutely no reason uh, to feel that way. I just kind of feel that way. So, so yeah, watching all these people, but there's some kind of, in, there's a reason why I'm kind of talking about this. There is the, uh, the twins, <clears throat> the twin farm girls. Uh, they're apparently stepping away from the show, so they're holding casting calls for an, an opening on the show, and I keep telling my wife, we need to get on this show, you know, if they're, if they're basically paying, you know, uh, paying you to go travel, I'll, I'll totally... Uh, do all that sort of stuff, even if it's just traveling around Australia for the first season or two. But the seasons, they go all over the place, and I don't know how long it takes for them to get all this stuff recorded and everything. I don't know the production values, or, you know, it's like, how long do they go and travel? Do they just go, 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 and then when they get home, they take a break, or I don't, I don't, I honest to God don't know how it works. But uh, if they're, if the studio is paying for all the vacation and everything like that, yeah, I, I would totally be all over that. So I started thinking, how do me and my wife kind of fit in among the, all the different demographics? Because like I said, you got, the, you got the, uh, the family, that's the mom and the dad and the son and the daughter, but they're all adults. You got that, so it's kind of like, how is it it's something that you can do with the family? Then you have the, the college age guys who are just friends, but they're not family. How do they react? And then you've got the retirees who didn't have any kids. And then you had uh, the group that uh, was uh, that that was leaving the twins. They're young adults, but one of them just had a kid, so they're kind of stepping away from that. So I was like, our demographic could be kind of like the young adults who didn't have any kids. So it's kind of like bridging the gap between the the family that had the kids and the retired couple who never had kids. And I'm just like, I feel like. And then of course you get the idea of you know the Aussie wife who married the American Midwesterner, how is he going to, you know, is he going to be something that could bring something? And I'm like, I feel like we do, we could have a shot on this show. And so I'm trying to get into the auditions, but they're just holding, you know, applications right now. And I'm sure, I'm sure millions, millions are getting into that one. But yeah, I, I think it could be a fun show. Uh, so, the, but anyway, it's, it, I've been watching that all day. Because there's like, I don't know, six or seven seasons, and every episode they're in a different location. It's not like season one they're in, you know, Fiji. No, it's like episode one they're in Fiji. Episode two they're in Jerusalem. Episode three they're in uh, Western Australia and everything like that. So I just, I think it could be an interesting thing to do. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if my personality is big enough for the show or, you know, I, I don't know what they're looking for because the two girls who are stepping away from the show, they were kind of, you know, the country girls. So it's like, you know, take these country girls who are used to just, you know, uh, take, taking care of their horses and put them into like a city uh, example. Most of the time they're happy eating pizza and drinking beer. <laughs> so... Uh, in fact, I think every episode they always tried to find a pizza. No, 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 no. They weren't dumb at all. They weren't dumb at all. They were really sweet gals. Um, but, you know, they weren't like inbred hicks or anything like that. They, uh, they just enjoyed the simple things in life. Um, and that's the thing about all these people. None of them were nasty. It wasn't a competition. It was literally, let's just go out and see what there is to experience and each group kind of experienced it differently and then they rated their overall trip and some you know out of five stars and some of them have gotten you know two and a half stars some of them are all five stars most of them are pleasant but they usually give their reasoning as to why they why they didn't like that or why they like something well, let's see so right exactly nobody on this show is dumb some of them are, right, exactly. Some of them are a little bumbling, but they're like, I would love to hang out with these people, kind of bumbling. Like the uh, the family, uh, the mom and the dad and the brother and sister, I can't remember what their names are, but because uh, I'm still so new to the show. But they, anytime there's shenanigans, they're right in the middle of it. They are, they're there to have a lot of fun and they make fun of each other while they're going, but it's never mean-spirited. They're, they're, they're a, a delightful family. And the mom has this 
cackly laugh that's just so infectious. And I'm like, they're never going to be taken off of that show. They're the lifeblood of that show. But I'm just like, let me just have a small slice of that pie. That's all I want. I don't have to be the main focus of the show. <laughs> just let me jump in. And and the cast has, has had, you know, kind of different people here and there. It's like the early seasons, they had this Indian couple. And, uh, and then later seasons, they were swapped out. And I don't know who replaced them. Uh, but, you know, I've only seen a handful of episodes. My wife adores the show. And I'm just like, don't watch it. Be on it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get to uh, the actual game here. So we're going to play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Uh, I actually got this game not when it first first came out, but um, this was... I actually had done uh, a broadcast of this one. Um, yeah, look at that. The file. The last time was... Was that Fe the February 13th of 2020? That's the last time I played this. But I actually have old files of this game um, on my uh, YouTube channel. And it's, it's, it's so funny seeing how I started to where I am now. So we're going to go normal and, yeah, we'll just stick with Link. Lin. This was actually, on the Game Boy, this was actually my first... Legend of Zelda game that I actually played. I mean, I had the first... I had friends who had the NES Legend of Zelda. But, um... What a relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. Um, but then this one came out for the Game Boy, and I borrowed it from uh, my girlfriend who owned a copy of it, and I played it, and it's the first Legend of Zelda I played from start to finish, and then I, it kind of got me into all the Legend of Zelda, so when I saw that this one was coming out for a remake, I was like, oh, fantastic, and then I saw the art style, and I was like, I have to get this game, but I was in the process of moving from the United States to uh, Australia, so I couldn't get it right away, but I, I, I did get it eventually, but I just, I never finished it, I, I was doing uh, the series, and yeah, anyway, let's get back to it. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on Koholint Island. You! You! Hey, well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. My name's Terran, but I kind of look like a Mario without a baseball cap. Hope you are feeling better. Wahoo! What? How did I annoy your name? You think it's a weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. You got the shield back. Hold R to repel enemies with it. Follow the lane south to the beach. To, south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you watched the shore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area. So be careful, okay? It's so cute. Hey, I just a tick off of my baseball cap and then all of a sudden I'm not an Italian a plumber anymore. Woohoo! I love the art style in this. It's so darling. Ah! Oh my god, I love the Australian licorice. Yes. No, it's not cliche at all. I love it. Um, I had to go looking around to find uh, some good stuff, but uh, we have a, a grocery store named uh, Woolies uh, here, uh, Woolworths, and it is... Um, they have... Yeah, Daryl Lee. Daryl Lee is a good brand, regardless of what you get. Hoot hoot, so you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. Ooh, ooh. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious fortress. Forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot hoot. Yeah, Daryl Lee is a big brand here. Um, they have... Uh, they have this thing, it's called Rockley Road, 
and oh my god, it's so good. It's basically just a brick of marshmallow and chocolate and uh, little candy pieces It's and nuts. Oh my god, it's so damn good. You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's let's kill some crabs. Oh! Ah! Ah! Danger monkey! Danger monkey! Yeah, strawberry, uh, strawberry is kind of standard, uh, here. Oh, I love this. This is so good. Ah, welcome to Saleh's House of Bananas. I'm Saleh. Sail? Saleh? I don't, I don't know. Sail sounds so dry. And this is my house. Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run in the family. <laughs> this th this game is just so bizarre. There's so much, like, fever dream uh, sort of uh, ideas that pop up. Beware of sea urchins. Don't touch them with your bare hands. Only touch them with your dough hands. Or maybe your sheep hands. But never your bare hands. All right, uh, oh, wait a second, there we go, okay, um, memories, where did the owl say to go? Now I understand why the monster attacks so violently, it is said to wake me, you should go north to the mysterious forest. <laughs> He's hoot hoot. <laughs> Bad Bow Wow. Right, what do we got here? Fishing Pond. Here sleeps the flying rooster. Hi, Taryn went to the forest to look for toadstools, but I'd rather sing. Listen to this. It's called The Ballad of the Windfish. I love this. so pretty. It's so sad when you realize what actually is going on in this. But, uh, yeah, right, exactly. It's like, I mean, I know what happens and it's like, oh, no, no, no. 200 rupees for a shovel? That's extortion. Hey, welcome. See something you like? Just bring it here. I like a lot of stuff, but, um, yeah. I just love how everything has, like, this, has this shiny polymer clay sort of look. It's a great art style. <laughs> well, it seems that after you sit, well, it seems that after you save, you will start at the last place you saved. Unless it's a dungeon where you start at the entrance. I'm not really sure why that is, because I'm just kid. <laughs> Those are my boys. I'm Papal. Pleased to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me here. Ah. With four boys who look alike, even I get confused sometimes. By the way, my baby wants a Yoshi doll. I saw one at the trendy game, but I couldn't get it. Oh, I suppose I'll have to do that. Right. It's it's a great it's a great design. Just everything has just this adorable look to it. All right, so we were supposed to go north. I guess we'll just keep going this way. Oh, can't go that way because uh, I can't lift the rocks yet, right? 
Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Again, get some chicken hands, and you might be okay. Trendy Gabe, one play, ten rupees. Nah, yeah, just give me a holler whenever you're in the mood strikes you to play. I think it's the bracelet, yeah. Alright, so how do I get to... How do I get to... Uh, the north? No, 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 can't do that. It's all walled up. Maybe I gotta go along the beach. Yeah, Yahoo! I'm fine, and you? I love the hip old grannies in these games. Nope, there's a wall there too. Here we go. Nope, needs a key. Ha! A keyhole here. It says tail keyhole. <laughs> that was my nickname in college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, let's drop down to the beach. Maybe we can head over this direction. A lot of nanners. Nope, can't get through the rocks. Ah! Oh my god, I have literally just gotten started and I have no idea where to go. He said go north. I'm just, I'm missing the path. <laughs> when I first started uh, broadcasting, I would only do 10 minute episodes. So I'd just sit down and I'd like play for an hour and then it was like, okay, now I've got enough episodes uh, for every single day. And then I would just upload them all through, all through the, uh, the week. And, um, oh my god, it was, it was way more work than it needed to be. But, uh, yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go. Mysterious forest, moblins ahead. But, uh, yeah, I would just do 10-minute episodes, and I was editing more than anything else. It was just crazy. Who tall, bright, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. But I must ask you, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholint Island. I'm afraid you may find a little trifle to leave the island while the windfish naps. Excuse me, a one, a two, a three, <coughs> three. By the by, have you ever visited the tail cave which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Hoot hoot. Oh, the, 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 the music has gotten mysterious and spooky. Man, what kind of moblin are you? You take two hits? Two hits to drop? Crazy. Beware of floors with cracks. Don't get too comfortable on them. You might break your mama's back. Bye. 
ba 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 50 rupees, very nice. It's like Dark Souls. I have to parry and dodge. Let's see. No, I don't have the ability to jump to jump yet. I think I need the feather. You know, Dark Souls was not that bad of a game, but it was just just a little too unforgiving, I think. <laughs> What's what I what I hated was um, I played that game not realizing that I was I was using the weapon system wrong. Like I wasn't uh, I wasn't leveling up my weapons correctly, And it was, uh, I was making the game way more difficult than it needed to be. So I ended up getting very far into the game with a weapon I had no business getting through the game on because I just learned how to dodge so well. Um, and then when I, uh, when I was, when I learned what I was doing wrong, suddenly I was playing at god tier because I knew how to dodge. <laughs> and, um, I got way further. Uh, once I realized the weapon system I was doing. I, I got to Ornstein and Smo, and I could not beat them to save my life. You've still got plenty of pep. Come see me when you feel like you can't go on. Why don't you let me decide my pep level, lady? But yeah, I got all the way to Ornstein and Smoke. <laughs> hey, baby, how'd you like to see my pep? <laughs> uh, but I, I, I was able to get all the way to Ornstein and Smoke using uh, very basic weapons. And then when I found out what was, uh, what I was missing... Oh! I think we missed the treasure. Did We didn't get a key out of that, did we? No, we did not. We just got a mushroom. Um, so then I got a, I got the better weapon and started leveling it up better. And then I got to Ornstein and Smo, and they were still giving me trouble, but I was a finally able to defeat them. And then I got past them, and then it was like nothing else was that difficult. It was, it was crazy. Um... But then I got, I think I got to the final boss, and I couldn't, I couldn't do any damage to him. And I was like, I've, I've just had enough. You know, a game can only stomp you, uh, stomp you in the asshole so many times. And that was one that I, I was like, yeah. <laughs> it has the sleepy toadstool, it does. We'll mix up something in a jiffy, we will. Yay, cocaine! It's all ready, it is. Take care, as there's not much there. Why not try a bit in my hut? Okay. Yeah, you got some magic powder. <sighs> all right. Uh... Oh, wait a second. Let's... This looks heavier than heavy. Your current strength won't cut it. Oh, right, right, right. We gotta light the... There we go. <laughs> ah, good job. Use it on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest. Pick some toadstools and I will make some more. Come back without a toadstool and you may have to pay a price for my leftovers. 
Yeah, I wish that when I was in my 20s I could afford a cocaine habit. <laughs> Not that I would use it, I just wish I had that kind of money. Whoops! Press the wrong button. That was something that a buddy of mine used to always say. He was like, I wish I could afford a fucking cocaine habit. And I was like, why do you want to do cocaine? And he was like, no, 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 you're not hearing me. I'm saying I wish I could afford one. <laughs> I was like, ah, okay, I gotcha. Whoop. Ah, get off me. I, um, I never really was much into the drug scene, but again, I was, I, there was very little time where I was making enough money to really do anything. I was, uh, I spent a lot of money towards my mortgage and insurance, and I didn't have a lot, I didn't have a lot left at the end of the month. Oh, as a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. See? Give him a little bit of dust and he starts bouncing off the walls. Hey, it's -a me, -a Mario! I mean, Taryn! Ah, the last thing I can remember was inviting into a big, juicy toadstool. And then I had to die on the stream. I was a raccoon. And there was a princess. And there were all these little mushroom people that kept telling me that the princess was in another castle. It was the weirdest fucking shit you ever saw. Yeah, that sounds strange, but it sure was a fun a wahoo! <laughs> yeah. hey, I'm all uh, tuckered out after all of that blow. I think I better set a spell before I head home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I was really a loser, but uh, boy, I had a hell of a time making friends. I was a goody two-shoes. I, I will fully admit that. I was a goody two-shoes, and a lot of people thought I thought that I thought I was too better, uh, much better than them. And so I never got invited to anything. They, they didn't think I'd be a decent person to hang out with. <laughs> Hoot, take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The wind fish is waiting. Hoot, hoot. Oh, okay. All right. We know we better leave. You know, sometimes uh I don't know. I think I think a lot of us have that rebellious nature and it's just it's just kind of who we are. It's like you just kind of, you know, and some people maybe get off on a bad path and, you know, it's maybe not necessarily something they intended, but yeah. Um yeah, it's just you know, as long as you realize that you made a mistake and you try to be a better person for it afterwards, you know, that's just kind of what you have to do in life sometimes. Make mistakes, but learn from them. Hey, Garfield Jan, how we doing today? Oh, I got me a heart piece. You got a piece of heart. Get three more and you get a full heart. All right, so let's go to our Garfield Chan. I don't know if you and our signs have been in the broadcast at the same time. Garfield Chan, uh, our signs. If, if you guys have never met, Garfield Chan was uh, a fan of mine from the long, long ago. <laughs> um, used to watch, uh, used to watch my show back before, uh, before this whole thing. Yeah, Terraria can be a game that uh, can really wear you out. There's a lot of stuff going on in that game. Hang on a second. Did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta stay up top there. Yeah, because that's, I think that's the, I think that's it right there. 
So yeah, Gar <laughs> and uh, Garf Chan has like three different accounts. So anytime you see anything that looks like Garfield Chan, same person. <laughs> And I am totally in favor of everybody uh, uh, coming and, and subscribing using all of their alts. <laughs> so, it's kind of neat when the uh, old fans and the new fans uh, get a chance to uh, chat. But it's... Um... Oh, there we go. Let's use the key. Bad memory of passwords. Yeah. <laughs> but at least you stick with a theme so that when you do come back, I at least recognize. Do, 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 do. All right. First dungeon. Wop, wop, wop. I don't like that. That's one thing about this game I don't like. That little noise. The brum 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 brum. It's so... They picked the wrong instrument for it. I don't... I, it's the only thing I don't like about this game. Is uh, because I always like the... Da -da 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 -da. It was such a nice little triumphant sort of thing. But that brum 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 brum. In a game that's all about music, that one's not a great choice. <laughs> Oh, I hate... I remember these guys now. Ah! Back them into a corner and get them stuck. And it... and Because it's something that happens very often. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I got stuck trying to figure out how to get this, and I've literally been playing for, what, 20 minutes? <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. Well, the thing that is is it is uh, uh, it can be confusing, but that's because it's it's a faithful recreation of a game from back in the day when you had to make a game tricky to figure out because the game could only be so big. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Joy, twenty rupees. Ah! Let's try that again. Ah! 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 The beakless statue is saying something. Oh! How a hush! Thank you so much for the follow. If you're not someone who wants to just show up and, and drop some ads on my uh, chat, uh, please just hang around for the 10 minutes uh, before that, uh, and then you'll be able to join in the chat. I always apologize to new player or new players, <laughs> new followers, because um, I, it's something I have to do, unfortunately. I get so many, uh, I, I was getting so many people leaving messages that were just, if you want des if you want guaranteed hits and views, then pay us money and we'll get them for you. We'll make sure you get five hits every single day. Ugh. So uh, I, had to, I had to put up a little time limit. So if you hang out for the 10 minutes, I'll be happy to uh, chat with you as soon as we're done there. But thank you very much for the follow, Hala Hush. Yay! We got the rock's feather. If you smell what the rock is feathering. All right, let's uh, get that onto X. Now we can jump. Ah! 
I love these little side-scrolling moments. It's a cute little uh, addition. Oh, I love me some Dr. Pepper. A Dr. Pepper is not impossible to find here in Australia, but it's not readily available. It is, uh, it's not a popular drink, but I, I, I at least have uh, the American, American cities, or I'm sorry, the American shops that uh, will stock it. There we go. That, that made a lot more sense. But uh, yeah, I love me some Dr. Pepper. My favorite is uh, Cherry Dr. Pepper, but uh, I'll take I'll take just about any Dr. Pepper. Oh, hang on a second. Let's head down this way. Okay, so we got the jump. Oh, let's see what's over this way. I think it's cute that I got these buzzy beetles. Oh. Plunk, 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 plunk. Ah! Ah! And now we have the compass. The compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is nearby. <laughs> No, you're a buzzy beetle. <laughs> okay, so I got two keys, but I don't remember seeing... Whoops! I didn't mean to dust him off. So, um, yeah, those... Uh, oh, there's a, there's a door right there. I didn't even see it. Whoops. All right, I was going to go through, Bat. I didn't need you to push me through. Uh, but I do... Oh, shit. Mini boss or actual boss? I hate to say it, but this, this, this character kind of looks like... Uh, uh, the, uh, the mother of the girl I dated in high school. She was a very large woman. <laughs> Dr. Pepper? Have you never had a Dr. Pepper? Um, it's a complicated uh, flavor. It's hard to say. It's kind of like a dark cola, but it's got, like... I don't know. It's really hard to describe. My favorite is a cherry Dr. Pepper, but it's, um... I don't know. It's, um, I don't know. Our signs how, yeah, maybe a little black cherry, a little bit of berry. Um, it's very sweet, uh, but it's got a dark, it's sometimes caramel. Right, exactly. Cherry Dr. Pepper is a lot more with the cherry flavor. It, um, they, yeah, right. There's a little bit of a spice to it, too. It's a weird combination of flavors. All the commercials are always saying there's like 30 flavors. And it's like, you know, depending on your sip, sometimes it tastes different from sip to sip. But I love me some Dr. Pepper. You should definitely try some, uh, Garf Chan. Right, it's very syrupy, yes. Kind of a grim sort of thing. I don't have the I don't have the um the big boss key. Uh oh, oh, here we go. Boy, I'm missing an awful lot, actually. Right, and Mr. Pib is very much very similar. Right, it, it, it's 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 not exactly the same as Dr. Pepper, but it's close enough. Ba -da! But 
But yeah, Dr. Pepper used to be one of my favorite sodas, and now that I can't get it, um, even more so. But like I said, I just, every once in a while, um, uh, every once in a while I go to the uh, American store that's nearby. There's a tourist town, and they have an American shop where they have uh, sodas. And I can get not only Dr. Pepper, but I can get like cherry Dr. Pepper, vanilla Dr. Pepper, and even some of the weirder flavors like the berry Dr. Pepper and everything. Turn aside the spined ones with the shield. Yeah, thanks. I've been doing that, jackass. Alright, let's take a look at our map. Crush is dangerous for me because I can drink it so goddamn fast. Orange Crush is pretty good, but Grape Crush even better. And if there's any other type of Crush, I don't know about it because I've never, I've never seen it. Actually, I take that back. When I was a kid, Strawberry Crush, I think, was a thing. But, uh, but I only, I, I only remember seeing, uh, Grape and Orange Crush. Pineapple Crush? I've never seen that. My wife would probably love that. She is all about pineapple. There we go. That's the big boss key. Oh, I'm sorry. The nightmare key. See you in your dreams, bitch. This guy sure says bitch a lot. Alright, how do I get back there? Okay, yeah. He looks like a cheeseburger with extra lettuce. You know, I I don't I'm not a big fan. Oh shit, get off of there. I'm not a big fan of Sprite. Um Sprite is one of those things that can be an okay drink if you really don't have anything else. I think it's refreshing, but sometimes it's not so great. But Sprite, you don't want it here in Australia. It is not the same. It is not as sugary, not as sweet, um, not as good. <laughs> I was more of a Sierra Mist uh, fan. If I wanted, if I wanted uh, a lemon lime drink, I preferred Sierra Mist. I thought Sierra Mist went with. Um, uh, went better with uh, wild turkey. Oh, it's so delightful. It's so nice hearing the actual instrument instead of the Game Boy's <laughs> Swamp. A path opens. In the blooms. <laughs> now Mountain Dew, that's the one that I I had to stop drinking because I could drink it so goddamn fast. It was, um, you know, I'd, I'd slam down half the damn can in the first gulp. And I was like, no, I can't do that. And then the geniuses at, at Mountain Dew made the wide mouth can. And so you could drink it faster. I'm just like, I don't need this sugar in my piss stream. Oh, that's an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first, I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north in Gopanga Swamp. 
Poot indeed. You remember Gaponga, right? She was the cute girl from Boy Meets World. <laughs> Sugar Pants is minion? <laughs> I actually have um, actually have a uh, some interesting ideas that'll be coming up in year two. <laughs> I uh, I'm not in a hurry. Oh god, I was one of those who had who drank Monster Energy drinks all the time. Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. Then, it's for real! They all went to the house! Yeah, that house! And they did something at Bow Wow's house! It was a really bad scene with the m m m m m So, I mean... Ah! It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. This is the library, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, I used to drink a monster every single day. And when I really needed a boost, I would drink the double XL can. It's terrible! My Bow Wow was dog napped by m m m moblins <laughs> Oh! Ah! Please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow! Yep, 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 yep. I, uh, I actually had to stop, whoops, pressed the wrong button there. I actually had to stop uh, drinking uh, Monster Energy drinks because I, I got the jitters and the shakes so goddamn bad. Is that a monkey? The fisherman, is that a monkey? I don't know. <laughs> An awful tragedy in the house across the way. If you ask me, this is a fault of those no good moblins from up in Tall Tall Heights. Oh, it's just awful, and all I can do is sweep. Oh, dang it, I keep hitting the wrong button. Ah. Well, I guess I should just head up to Gaponga Swamp. Alrighty, R Science. Well, thanks for hanging out. Get yourself some sleep, and we'll uh, we'll catch you next time. I'll, I'm probably tomorrow is your Friday. <laughs> Today is actually my Sunday. Tomorrow is my Monday. I've actually got to go to work tomorrow, but uh, I get some. I'm getting some extra shifts this week. Uh, but uh, I'll be playing this one all week long. I've already dedicated this this week to be uh, Link's Awakening week. <laughs> I like that it's already Monday for you. <laughs> well, it's Monday evening for me, but um, I'm, I'm 18 hours ahead of the States. Alrighty, have a good one, R Signs. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll catch you next time, definitely. Ba -ba 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 Got a piece of heart. And take it! Take another little piece of my heart now, baby! Break it! Break another little piece of my heart, you know it will. Oh, what's the sign say? Cemetery in Ukuku Prairie. Oh, right, the zombies. I forgot, this game has zombies. Kill these guys? I mean, I know they're ghosts, but... Oh, I love the art style in this game. It's so adorable. Ah! Stop it!
Oh, they finally drop a heart, and it's, be it's beyond my reach. Well, I guess maybe we ought to just go to Topanga Swamp. Oh, no! Wow, I got killed by a crow. Yeah, retry. How far back do I gotta go? Oh, just right here? <laughs> I'm still setting up. I think it's hilarious that they brought Dompe back for this game. Specifically. <laughs> Since he didn't exist there before. You know, it's really lightened up a lot. Um, we've, we haven't uh, had any lockdowns or any major issues uh, for several months now. So, uh, eh, who's this suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. It's, um, it's, it's been really nice uh, since everything got reopened and, you know, I was, and that's why I was able to get a job. Oh my god. Ah. Um, it was really tricky trying to get a job because there were so many places that had shut down. And, um... Oh, boy. You must be an assassin sent by Madam Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. Whoa! Um, before I... Whoops. Give me a second here. There we go. Uh, before I moved to the area I'm living at now, I was working at uh, a... Uh, I was working at some hotels in Sydney. I was uh, on the maintenance staff. And, um... We ended up selling our house way faster than I expected. So... About the time that I started getting, you know, uh, getting, you know, kind of used to the routine and everything, working about five days a week uh, at two or three different locations. You saved Bow Wow! What a fearsome beast! Um, I had to uh, quit that because we were moving about two hours down the coast, and um, it was it, the commute was going to be way too much for me to be able to uh, keep that job. Uh, but I, I got back in in uh, uh, the hotel industry, so I'm doing that. Right now, it's, it's the slow season, so I've only got a couple of... Uh, I only get about two or three shifts a week. But um, it's paying, actually, a decent amount. Hoot, that is a fearsome-looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in Gopanga Swamp. Uh, and before that, before I left the States, um, I worked in radio for 14 years, but then I also had, um, but then I also quit that job, uh, because it was just too stressful. Um, oh, <laughs> he's just gonna eat everybody. Um, and I, uh, had a job working at, um, uh, Purina. Uh, for a time. Uh, also, I'm kind of the maintenance maintenance staff there. Maintenance and uh, cleanup crew and all that. Uh, let's see. Oh! Okay, he's just gonna eat everybody. And I guess that's fine. 
I have, I've not really had a lot of jobs, um, in my adult years, but, um, I, but I've, I've uh, definitely tried to keep them, take them all seriously. The, having, you know, 14, uh, recordings of the radio stuff, uh, probably not online, but I saved a bunch of that. I've saved a bunch. Before I left, I took a, a flash drive to specifically uh, save a lot of my stuff so that if I ever wanted to get back in the radio, I, I had like a demo reel. Um, but I used to I used to do uh, a lot of stuff in that job. We had uh, I would do song parodies and we'd play them on the uh, play them on the air. Um, we had uh, we had a lot of uh, you know special programming and, and everything. Uh, one of my favorite things was uh, during the uh, Christmas, uh, I interviewed my wife uh, for a segment to say what what's the difference between an Australian Christmas and an American Christmas now that she's experienced both. And uh, it was cute. It was a lot of fun. And anytime I can get my wife uh, on the air, I always try to. Um, actually, I'm trying to think. There, we used to have a SoundCloud account, but I'm I, they probably cleared that off. That that was years ago. But they had uh, I had this one segment that uh, I did. It was uh, where I would interview uh, kids, and uh, oh my god, everybody loved that segment. Um, we would um, I would go to uh, we had a partnership with. Um, the uh, local child care center and when the kid I would go there and I would interview the kids and ask them uh, questions and then I would take the uh, I would take the audio and I would splice it together put a little bit of music behind it and um, and make their uh, make their interviews you know uh, something that's kind of funny play some jokes and everything but they they would um, they, they, the kids would give all of the answers. I didn't have to leave them anywhere, and uh, they were always so funny. That was one of my favorite jo uh, favorite jobs uh, to do. But um, I, uh, I also had uh, interviews. Uh, I interviewed. Um, uh, shoot, I almost said Jeff Foxworthy, but it's not Jeff Foxworthy. It's. Um, uh, Bill Engvall. Uh, I had a chance to interview Bill Engvall. Uh, I introduced, uh, I, I emceed a concert that uh, Joe Diffie was headlining. Uh, so I, I got to do some fun stuff, definitely. Uh, but we were we were a small market uh, station. So we didn't we didn't get. We didn't we didn't uh, do a huge amount of stuff, but what we did I think was fun. Um, and it was like you know two years after quitting that I had so many people coming up to me and saying that they missed uh, hearing me on the air. So I was like I must have done something right. Oh, 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 I, I, I messed that up. Let's try that again. We'll do that. And then we'll do that. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> it hesitated. I was like, was that not the solution? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Na 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 You know what I'm doing on YouTube is kind of what I've always wanted to do. Oh, shit. Okay, I can't block him when he throws. Smack him in the butt. Smack him in the butt. Um, 
I like uh, I like doing uh, you know broadcasting and and acting and everything, and and that's kind of it's kind of like the one-two punch what I'm doing right now. If I can turn that into a job, I would be very happy. Just uh, reviewing uh, schlocky, crappy movies, uh, playing a character while I do it, and um, you know doing video editing and all that sort of stuff. I really enjoy it. Um, so hopefully someday I'll be able to monetize it. I would I would be very happy if I if I could do so. Oh shit! A miniature black hole. All right, let's get the hell out of here before we're crushed into a quantum singularity. Um, but I, I like acting. I like performing in front of people. Um, I like to, you know, that's why I kind of do the broadcasting because it's it's kind of that sort of a thing. Um, I like uh, I like acting, um, but I prefer doing comedies and small shows. I used to do, uh, when I was uh, working in radio, I used to do uh, local theater, and uh, I did several shows. Most of it was, uh, let's see, is that something that's passive? Yeah, I don't have to equip it. Um, but I used to do, uh, I used to do some local theater, uh, nothing major or anything, just, you know, people volunteering their time and uh, just having some fun. And, uh, but, but I, I, I had a lot of fun doing the small theater and everything. I'd love to get into something like that, but, um, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. Most of my life, I've just kind of drifted through and whatever happened, happens. I, um, I used to try and make plans, but, uh... Every time I plans for, plan for something, it never turned out, so I just stopped making plans. Whatever happens, happens. I just roll with the punches as best I can. Like, for instance, right now I'm working in the hotel industry. Never was anything that I thought I would actually do, but here in Australia, they actually pay a living wage, so even though I'm only getting a couple of shifts per week, um, I'm, ma I'm making a decent amount of cash all of a sudden. But, uh... Whoops. But I was warned. But I was warned that um, uh, we're in the off season. When it gets warmer, when it gets to be the warmer months, uh, we'll really start putting in some hours. So uh, I'm I'm def I'm actually looking forward to that. Um, me and my wife are trying to uh, save up for... We ha It's been a long time since she and I had a vacation. So we're wanting to uh, go to uh, Australia. I'm sorry, Japan. <laughs> we're in Australia. <laughs> but um, right now, that's, uh, that's kind of where we're going. My wife is uh, taking courses so she can get into uh, some pathology. Uh, work and do some lab work. I don't think this jerk's gonna fall. Hmm. Okay, maybe I have to go in a different direction. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, uh, I just kind of, you know, just, I've just bounced around, never really had any major plans and everything, um, and, uh, life is, has really kind of taken care of me. I just try to make sure that I, uh, do the, do the right thing and, uh, you know, pay, pay my bills, make sure that everything's, all my responsibilities are kind of taken care of. Oh, dang it. 
There we go. Okay, I got a uh -uh. So obviously I did something wrong there. We'll come back. Oh good, I can fall on them. I wasn't sure if I could. But yeah, my uh, my YouTube channel, uh, Sugar Pants Video Basement, I I would really love it if I could monetize that and and do that. Maybe not for a living, but make some money off of it. I think I think that would be really great. Okay, we have a couple of. Uh, let's go back to the beginning here. We got this nifty little portal that'll take us there. And we got a couple of... Oh, oh, right, right, right. We have this treasure chest. 50 rupees. Very nice. Um, but, uh, you know, like, like I said, I'm kind of, you know, working in the hotel industry. The only reason I am is because I put in a lot of applications and they called me back. <laughs> it's, it's really not more difficult than that. Is it what I'd like to do? Not necessarily, but like I said, it's paying, it's paying well and it's not difficult work. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to, uh, I've kind of done the math and the pay rate that I have, uh, if I can get like five shifts uh, in the week, um, I I'll be pulling down some major scratch. What do I do? <laughs> I'm actually, I, I actually work in uh, housekeeping. I, um, I don't know why they hired me, but I just said screw it and applied. So, um, basically, when the, uh, when the people check out of the hotel rooms, I uh, jump in there and uh, clean it up and uh, get it ready for the next tenants. Uh, sometimes I have people checking in that day and have to get those done before uh, check-in time. Part of the floor is raised. Tap the shiny... Yes, I know. Jesus. <laughs> Giving me these hints and clues about shit that I figured out long before I ever got the beak. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I do... Uh, I work in the... Uh, so, yeah, working with the hotel industry and everything. Um, I, I work with some really nice people, but, you know, we do, uh, we do a few shifts. Um couple of shifts a week and uh you know for about five hours uh depending on what there is but since like i said since we're in the off season we don't have a whole lot of we don't have a whole lot of uh a whole lot of uh turnover but in the summertime when uh, we get to oh good i got them locked when we get to the uh warmer months um it that'll all pick up Make every block design the same. A new path will open. Yes, I... <laughs> I love this that they give me this beak so late in this... Uh, in this temple, or in this dungeon, that I've already figured out all these solutions. It's, it's like, completely useless. No point. Like, I needed to get those solutions before I got it. Uh, actually, we're in winter. We, we just started winter um, five days ago. So yeah, we're, we're basically just the opposite of whatever it is in the States. And uh, boy, let me tell you, it got cold. Uh, the wind, let's see. First defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice, last the skeletal Stalfos. Oh, wait a second. Okay, there was there was a room, and I'll be I'll, but I'll be damned if I can remember where it was at. 
<laughs> oh, trust me, it gets it gets warm here in the summertime. Uh, but yeah, when it's uh, winter time there, it's summertime here. Um, but I'll tell you, it is weird as hell uh, celebrating Christmas uh, in the summertime. Because that's, that's basically the reality. <laughs> oh, yeah, no thanks, man. Where I live, um, we get the, uh, uh, the tropical winds, so it can get hot during the day, but it always cools off uh, when the sun goes down. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, don't tell me I gotta head back from downstairs. Ah, get off me. Get off me. Yeah, that desert heat, I've, I've never fully experienced, and uh, I don't think I want to. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. Now that we can lift things, let's see if now I, am I heavy enough? There we go. Oh, that's how I get to the big boss door. Okay. But I still haven't seen any shows. Uh, you know, not really. Um, I haven't... Movies... Boy, I tell you, I am so out of the movie scene. Um, I kind of... The wife wants to go see uh, Bob's, the Bob's Burgers movie, and I don't blame her. Um, I don't even know what it's about, but it's Bob's Burgers, so it has to be good. Oh, this one. This is it. I have to... I have to kill the uh, the rabbit thing first. All right, get rid of them. No. Oh, there's a bat. Maybe the bats. Nope, that ain't right either. Uh, I, you know, I'm hesitating on that one. I have access to it, but I'm going to wait for it to kind of clear up first. Like, get all episodes out before, um, all right, let's try this. That first. Now this guy. There we go. Um... But uh, the last show that I really tried getting into from brand new was that Moon Knight, and my god, I, I just couldn't care. Oh, I love Bob's Burgers. It's so funny. It is, it is a, it's got a great first couple of seasons, um, and uh, yeah, I just, I love it. It's, it's uh, very humorous. Okay, so now we got the Nightmare Key. Now how do we get back to the Nightmare Oh, oh, that's, that's the zoom. I think I had to go this way and then go down the steps. But yeah, Bob's Burgers, um, it's, uh, I don't know, it's the characters, it's the characters that are in that I think are just very, very funny. Bob's very deadpan, and he's got all these characters in his, uh, in his household that, um, are kind of, uh, you know, in the opposite direction of him, but, uh, they're very lovable, and, and, uh, yeah, it's just very, very funny. But it's, it's a simple kind of, uh, humor. It isn't, isn't, isn't too complicated. I'm your bad guy this time. Ho, ho, ho. Well, 
Boy, I forget I forget how weird this damn game gets. Yeah, I can't move, but I'm still alright. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. Yeah, yeah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. My favorite uh, of Bob's Burgers episodes are the Halloween episodes. Uh, the kids are always dressing up in just ridiculously hilarious costumes. Uh, very clever. Um, like one year, Louise was, uh, she was dressed up as a dragon. And the mom was like, well, what are you dressed as? And she rolls up her sleeve and there's a, t she's got a, she drew a tattoo of a woman on her shoulder. And she said, I'm the dragon with the girl tattoo. <laughs> and I'm like, that's great. Ah, you broke my bottle! Why, you? You make me hopping mad! There we go. Oh, and, and then uh, Tina would was dressed up as a nun and she had a suitcase and, and they're like, what are you dressed up as? And she said, I'm none of your business. <laughs> you got a heart container. You got the conch horn. Ricola. Hey, Brett. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing better. I know it's been kind of rough for you lately. Hopefully, um, hopefully things have gotten a little bit easier for you. The prairie is waiting. Go west, young man. Haven't you been told? California's full of whiskey. Women and gold. I was going to say, come on, Bow Wow, eat the plants. There we go. All right, so let's return Bow Wow. Oh, let's uh, take the mushroom. That way, if we uh, run out of uh, run out of powder, I think we can go get more from the witch. Which is funny that the witch is actually on our side in this game. Hmm. You know, I think I can. I think I can pick up those skulls now. So let's go here, and reset the puzzle, and come at it from this side. Okay, so if I push that one down, push that one over here, and push this one up. There we go. Just take it! Take another little piece of my heart now, baby. That's three. Three! It's a third little piece of my heart. One more and it'll be done. Ah. 
It's kind of funny adventuring with a chain chomp. But again, this uh, this game is very bizarre. But there's a reason for that. Uh, Okay, here we go. Had to uh, kind of check the map there. Got myself kind of turned around a bit. Oh, I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You are such a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? Oh, I know. Smooch. You got a reward from Madam Meow Meow. Lucky. <laughs> oh, and now the Bow Wow likes me. Makeup, jewels, dresses. I want it all. And some new accessories would be nice. I love the random bones just uh, sitting in uh, just sitting in the uh, Bow Wow's uh, little little house there. <laughs> hey, it's -a me, -a Mario. I'm -a getting my potassium for the day. I was a hungry something fierce, so I went and got bananas at the beach. Link, if you want some, you should go and get some. <laughs> All right, hint the hint, hint. Let's go to the beach. Oh yeah, well now that we uh, now that we can pick up some rocks, we ought to be able to uh, make our way making our way downtown, walking fast, talking then and Fifty rupees, very nice. It's a nice, <laughs> my wife. <laughs> There's this uh, commercial that's uh, talking about this um, this new uh, m series that Renee Zellweger is a part of. I don't know if it's an American thing or if it's an Australian thing. Um, and uh, there's this one guy who um, uh, says, my wife. And he says it distraught. And every time he says it, I just think of Borat. My wife. Very nice. The door to the cabinet is hanging off its hinges. Nobody's used this thing in a while. Well, I got it lit. Oh, nope, can't make it over that. That is too big of a jump.
Half of this game is just trying to figure out where you go next. <laughs> No, nah, I thought there was some rocks on this side. Now, now that I've got the ability to pick up rocks, that's what I'm looking for. Since that's kind of the next, the next giveaway as to where you need to go. The giant egg on top of Mount Tamaranch? They say the windfish is sleeping inside of it. Why? I don't know either. Oh, I guess there is the phone. I always forget that the phone will uh, give you hints if you're stuck. Bring, bring. Hello, it's me, Elrira. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. There's a man named Richard who lives in Pothole Field, southeast of the village. Why not pay him a visit? That's all I can tell you for now. Bye. Click. Yeah. Once you get something in the prize area at the Trendy Game, it's yours. We've been trying to win that Yoshi doll for our mom. Oh, all right. I'll do some side quest stuff. Trendy game, one play, ten rupees. The buttons move the crane, the rest is just timing. Go over to the buttons to play, good luck. Yoshi! Yeah, sure. Uh, maybe. Oh, I was just too far off. <laughs> a little too, a little too high, uh, a little too far back, I guess. One more try. There we go. That's a little that's a little more dead on. Got a Yoshi doll. You can't count how many games you've seen him in by now. <laughs> and the last piece of the heart. We have been increased in health. Whoa! You won the Yoshi doll! We've been trying to do that forever! Our mom is really desperate to have one. Well, sucks to be her. <laughs> Alright, I'll do the nice thing and give her my collectibles. Where the hell is she? Oh, right, she's up on top of the hill. Ah. Oh, will you give that Yoshi doll to my baby? I suppose. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Ah, I will give you this in return. Oh, right. This is that ridiculously long um, trade-off fetch quest thing where you just keep running into people and trading the items. That ribbon has to go to uh, the little Bow Wow. <laughs> 
The Dream Shrine. fast death. Yeah, let's let's retry that. Sure are causing an awful lot of damage. Now I'm not ready to give up. got a whole lot of room to move. shrine there. They say there's something good inside. I better not say anything else because I'm just a kid. is pouring from here. You should find out what it does. Well, it shouldn't do much of anything. It's a transport, but I don't have a secondary location. here it says slime keyhole that was the name the nickname that they gave me in uh, college ah salutation you wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk, and I was forced to flee to my villa. So you're looking for something, are you? I may have just what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf behind I left behind the castle when I fled. Smashing! To tell you the truth, there are five leaves, and I want them all. Okay, you'll need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck. That was, oh shit, pothole field. <laughs> that was such a tenant of, uh, that was such a tenant of these uh, old games. Nobody could do anything for themselves. You had to do everything for everybody. I guess I should get that shovel. Now, since now there's a quest that's specifically asking for it. 
All right. Well, let's go back to... Oh. Go back to the village. Oh, no, no, no. I... I need the speed boost to be able to get over that. Deluxe Shuffle, 200 rupees. Seems expensive. <laughs> Thanks a lot, and come again. I forget the voice that I'm using for shopkeepers. You got a shovel. Yay. All right. Let's... We'll put you as Y so I don't accidentally use my... Oh, can I buy bombs? Ten bombs, ten rupees. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Bombs are a rupee apiece. <laughs> Shovels <laughs> are two hundred. Ooh, arrow. Nine hundred and eighty. Oh, you. Okay, I need to I need to push the top one top brick over. Push that one over there, this one down, throw that, and take the heartbeats. And we're done here. You still got plenty of pep. Come see me when you feel like you can't go on.
<laughs> the writing's on the other side. <laughs> Fucking smart ass game. See what the see what the next instruction is. Bring, bring, yes, yeah, old Ryra. You haven't found the five golden leaves? Try bombing suspicious places. Hope that helps. Bye. Click. or anything. Alright, well let's go to the castle and see if we can find the uh, find the leaves. <laughs> I remember doing this one before, and it was kind of a pain in the ass. Chiquita! Chiquita! Kiki the monkey! Hungry! Kiki the monkey! Right! Some of these are coming back to me in bits and pieces. Oh, come on. The bomb can't hurt me and then blow up to hurt me. Found a secret seashell, but what do you do with it? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Light in the morning. Well, folks, what do you do? You put him in the longboat until he's sober. Put him in the longboat until he's sober. I forget why I'm coming back here. All right, I got to give a little Bow Wow her um, hair accessory. And then she'll give me the dog food, and then I give that to the artist who gives me bananas. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. Oh, that ribbon, I need it. Will you trade for my dog food? Yes. Lucky, thanks. Well, here's your dog food. You exchange the ribbon for some dog food. It's full of juicy beef. That's so weird. All right, so now we got to go to... Sale. It's probably sale, but yeah. What's that you have? It's canned food! For heaven's sake, man, give that to me, please! I'm gonna lose it if I can't get that can! No, oh, thank you, I'll take that. <laughs> munch, munch. That was great! I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas, yum. 
You gave him dog food and got bananas in return. Good deal. Let's try this again. Bananas! Bananas! Ooh, ooh! Give to Kiki! Bananas! Bananas! Ooh, ooh! Kiki! Bunkies! Come! Repay him! Kiki! As a general contractor, I find that monkeys do the best carpentry work. If you ever have a job that needs to be done using carpentry, hire yourself a bunch of monkeys. They work for bananas. Monkey business! Done! Bye-bye! Ooh, Kiki! You found a stick! A monkey left behind! You take it! Oh, wait a second. What do we got up here? Oh, this is where we... This is where we bring our shells. I am the spirit of the mansion. I have been waiting for someone, one who can overcome the darkness. Find the secret shells, then ascend the platform. You will receive the ultimate sword. Sounds like you should come back with lots of shells and try standing on the platform. Hmm, no response. You must not have enough shells. Collect a lot of these, there could be something in it for you. Okay, Link can't swim a lick. Okay. Yes, old Ralra. You haven't found the five golden leaves? Well, someone stole them to begin with. I bet the boss trooper in the castle still has one. Bye. Click. Oh, well, isn't that convenient?
Ah! There we go! There's one! You found a golden leaf! Guess I've got the golden ticket. Didn't I already take you guys down? Kicking my ass. Open the gates. Hmm, sounds like the castle gate opened. You can easily leave the castle now. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt of elderberries. these guys are <laughs> plastered up into the walls. Kind of a weird place for the guards to be stationed, but... <laughs> Kicking the shit out of me. All right, well, there's four. Uh, what am I missing? This one was this one was kind of tricky 
to uh, figure out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just look it up instead of just wandering around without any actual clues. Oh god, I need to get a new phone. My phone is so slow. But at least everyone else is already looking up. I just typed in Link's Awakening 5. Okay, so we have Return Bow Wow, da, 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 where to find Richard's Villa, na, 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 na. All right, castle location number one. Okay, take out the bomb throwing guy. We have him, we get the gold leaf from him. Oh! There's a crow in the courtyard. He didn't attack me. I gotta chuck a rock at him. There we go. I thought it had something to do with that crow, but um, I thought I had to have the uh, the charging, uh, the running charge attack to crash into it to startle him. Okay, let's get back to Richard. And I think we're going to call it a broadcast at that point. Ow, shit, that hurt. I see you have recovered all of the leaves. Now, move the statue and you will find your reward. Uh, secret seashell, fantastic. In soil sleep secrets beneath your souls. Yeah, 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 dig here. 
Oh. Okay. Well, isn't that just convenient? I wasn't even trying for that. Are they not even going to give me a shortcut? Well, that seems silly. And now the rock's back, so I can't jump through there. cavern. Okay, and that is where we are going to I'm gonna save that. And we're gonna call this a broadcast. So let me get over here to my pretty face up here. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is a, a fun little game, but uh, again, I've I, uh, I've never finished this version of it. I just, um, I got it, and I started uh, broadcasting with it, and something happened, and it kept me from playing, and I just I just put it off, and put it off, and put it off, and I just, I couldn't remember, I, I, I kept forgetting to come back to it. And then uh, the other day, I was looking through my, all my games, and I was like, what am I going to play today? And I was just like, hey, it's about time to come back for this one. So we're basically going to be doing um, Link's Awakening until we're done. Uh, if that takes all week, I don't know. It's not a long game. It's just uh, as long as you know what you need to do and you don't get lost, it's it's really not that difficult of a game if I remember it right. Uh, it, it couldn't be a very long game because it was on the Game Boy. <laughs> Those little packs were very small cartridges. I mean, I know the Switch games are small compared to the uh, uh, Game Boy games, but storage size is a much different story. We had to have actual batteries in some of those carts, or else you wouldn't be able to save your game. Anyway, so uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll have uh, more Legend of Zelda, and I uh, hope to have you along for that. Uh, so um, yeah, that uh, will do. Uh, I actually do have to uh, work a shift tomorrow. I've, I've got three shifts uh, this week, but uh, none of them are two days in a row, which I thought was kind of neat. Uh, Tuesday, uh, Thursday, and Saturday. So I get uh, you know one day on work, get a day off, work a day, get a day off, and work a day. And uh, let me tell you something, if you get a job in Australia, you definitely want those weekend shifts because the uh, pay rate is uh, more, uh, if you're a casual. <laughs> if you're a full-time <coughs> employee, it's something different. I don't know, the laws here are, are, are very different when it comes to uh, pay and everything, but um, I, I just like living in a country that pays a living wage and you don't have to bust ass for 14 years to still not get enough money to pay all the bills. Uh, because uh, my job when I paid uh, when I was uh, working in radio I worked for 14 years and uh, they just kept finding excuse after excuse after excuse not to pay me what I needed to and they, they couldn't even keep up with like inflation it'd be like what I made at a certain time was all I was ever gonna make no matter how many years passed but anyway that's in the past I'm actually working a job that I enjoy <laughs> and uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's given me the ability to go out and have some fun. The other day, me and the wife went bowling for the first time in forever because I was like, you know what, I've got a little bit of expendable cash. Let's go out and actually do something that isn't free. 
it's it's kind of nice to be able to have that little pocket change and, and be able to do that. Anyway, so that is going to do it for this broadcast. Uh, so until I greet you again, most likely tomorrow for some more uh, Link's Awakening, you all have a great rest of the day, and we will catch you next time.